How many of you have heard of ventriloquism? Some of you have heard of it. Well, you may not know the word, but I'm sure you've seen it before, maybe on the telly. You've probably seen that uh, show, uh, America's Got Talent, or Australia's Got Talent, or Britain's Got Talent, or Talent Has Talent, or I don't know, it's all over the place. Those shows, they're the guy with the puppet and he makes it talk without moving his mouth. That's what ventriloquism is. I'm going to do some of that, but I don't have a puppet. So I'm going to need to borrow someone from the audience. I'm going to, thank you for helping. I'm going to need to borrow someone from the audience. I'm going to need, I need a volunteer. But wait, it can't be just any volunteer. It can't be a small person. This is going to be really dangerous. So it has to be an adult. Wait, wait, wait. Just the right size, just the right height. Oh, look! You right there with the glasses on, leaning on the pole. Hi, what's your name? What? You're going to have to come up closer. I can't hear you. In fact, come on, way up on the stage. <laughs> Big round of applause, come on up! Hi there, what's your name? Itai, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Israel, nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome to San Francisco, where it's summer, but cold and foggy. Anyway, are you a pirate? Aye, he says. Well done, mate, well done. Let me ask you this, are you a dummy? A dummy? No. We'll find out. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean that kind of dummy. I mean, I'm going to turn you into a human puppet. What? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm just wrong, mate. Never mind. No, I mean, I'm going to turn you into a ventriloquism dummy. I'm going to make you talk. And we'll make you into a pirate as well. So you will not believe this. This is really weird. And then we'll do the big danger with the finale and the fire and the knives and we'll light you on fire and all that stuff. Okay. Now, wait right there. I've got something here for you to hold. Would you just hold that for me? It's a pirate hat. Don't put it on quite yet. Because I've got something else for you to wear right inside of here. This is what's going to make you into a dummy. In fact, I'm going to make you talk with this, so just look straight forward. I'm going to put this on, I don't want to put your glasses there. This will go right over your mouth, that way we can't see your mouth. Now you look like a mean, nasty pirate, and we can go, yar, and then we can put this right on top of your head, like so. Oh, it's not fitting, there we go. Perfect. Oh, he looks like a pirate captain, doesn't he? Hey? All right, now I've got a little lever here in the back, which I will be holding. That way, I will be able to make your mouth move, you will be able to talk to so Stand right here in the center, look forward so everyone can see you. Here we go. Now, I'm going to have to give him a voice, fitting of a pirate captain, something mean and, and vicious sounding. Are you ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a little weird. You're telling me. <laughs> I can change it to something different if you like. No, I like this one. Oh. <laughs> You do, you like that? Yes, I do. Okay. I like you, too. Oh. I like you, too. You're very nice. Oh, I really like you. Oh, that's, that's okay. Right city, wrong guy. Okay. I'm just saying. We have to give you a pirate name. We're not done. He's wearing a big pirate captain's hat, so he should be a pirate captain. So your name should be Captain... Nancy. Nancy. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay. You know, it's okay. Captain Nancy it is. And now, I thought I'd bring you up to show ventriloquism, which means I'm talking without moving my lips, and I'm making it look like Captain Nancy here is talking. I'm not done. What? I was just going to take it off and send you back with a big round of applause, but you're, what do you mean you're not done? I haven't done my uh, dancing yet. Dancing? <laughs> oh, no. There wasn't going to be any dancing in the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, then what kind of dancing are you going to show us? Belly dancing. Belly dancing. <laughs> okay, then. Well, Captain Nancy is going to do belly dancing. I need music. I don't have any music for belly dancing. I'll sing. Okay. <laughs> He's going to sing. I don't know if we want to hear him sing and dance. Do you want to hear him sing and dance? Yeah! They want to hear it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Singing and belly dancing is Captain Nancy. <laughs> he did a great job. Let's hear it for Captain Nancy. I'll just take this off of you, mate. There you go. Thank you for helping. Don't go away quite yet.
He did such a great job, and he's so brave, letting me mess around like that. I'm going to give you one of my pirate trading cards for helping out. But wait, there's more. I'm also going to give you. That's right, he gets the pirate treasure map. <laughs> Now the kids like the treasure map because it, it you know, X marks the spot and all, and it's got a drawing of me on there. And, but you're going to like it because of all the bad jokes. The world's worst bad pirate jokes. They're terrible. Here's another one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> terrible. Why didn't the pirate take a shower before walking the plank? Because he knew he'd just wash up on shore later. <laughs> Work with me, dude. That's for you, sir. Thank you for helping out, Captain Nancy. Give him a big round of applause. He did a great job. All right, are you ready for the finale and the danger? All right, here we go. As promised, razor sharp, lit flaming doom for the finale. Now, I'm going to have to show you a couple of very important things before I actually do the finale with the eating the apple. I'm going to light these three torches first. The reason for that is I would like to show you a couple of things first. There's a lot of people that just walked up and didn't see this earlier. I want to make sure you know, this is real fire. You can probably feel it from there, right? It's real. There's a lot of kids here now. Kids, this is real, it's dangerous. Do not try this at home. Go next door. <laughs> Kidding. Go to grandma's. Oh, no. <laughs> it's dangerous, and I also want to say it's so dangerous that I have one of these sitting here. Pull the pin, you squeeze the handle, and it shoots white stuff all over. If you see me catch on fire, if my clothing or my dreadlocks or something catch on fire, I might not notice it right away. You might want to say something. <laughs> and just make sure, I want you to know, if it does happen, don't point and laugh. It's not part of the show. Put me out, for God's sake. Now, there's something else I want to say. But before I do that, I think, since you came and you helped me gather the crowd and all that, and we've got a nice group of people and you've been a wonderful audience, would you like to see me, before I do the finale with the apple, would you like to see me try to juggle three lit flaming torches in the wind? Yeah! All right. Half of you do. <laughs> The rest just want me to light myself on fire, I know. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh, cameras! Juggling three lit torches. Ready? Go! <laughs> Made you waste a picture, I'm sorry. That was me. Pirate. Okay, juggling three lit flaming torches. Ooh, a breeze. And the breeze gets... Oh, oh thank you, both of you. <laughs> Could you run around and make it sound like the whole crowd was popping? <laughs> no, no, you want more, don't you? <laughs> Would you like to see me throw it under my leg? Say yeah. yeah! Wow, you don't just want me to light my hair on fire. You want me to light my... Oh my god. <laughs> All right then, under the leg. Here we go, just for you. Whoa! 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 Okay, okay, that's enough. Do you realize how dangerous that really was? We could have had hot crust buns. Oh. Hot crust... Oh, people, I couldn't say great balls of fire. <laughs> All right, I've got one more thing to say before I do the big finale, and this is really important also. I want to thank each and every single one of you for stopping to watch my show. I mean that sincerely because I am indeed, like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, I'm a street performer. What that means is I'm not paid to come out here and do these shows. No one you ever see on this stage, this is the street performer stage, no one you ever see here is ever being paid by Pier 39 or by Crystal Geyser or by any of the shops. Street performers are weird. They come out, they do a show for no pay, in hopes that everyone enjoyed the show and will put something in their bucket after the show. That's how a street performer works. That's how we make our living. So, it works like this. If you watch the show, come on down after I've put out the torches, after I'm finished with the apple trick, come on down, drop something in the bucket. If you really enjoyed the show, if it made you laugh a lot, if you liked the danger, show me that you liked it by putting something nice in the bucket. If you hated the show, if you didn't like it at all, that's okay too, I understand. Just come down and put something in the fire. <laughs> now honestly, I do this for a living, folks, and so every single bit counts. So listen close. This is kind of important, too. No matter what you put in, make sure you get one of my pirate trading cards as a souvenir, all right? But if you can put in five or a ten or a twenty, bless you, that makes a huge difference to a street performer's life. I am trying to do this for a living. If you put in at least five, make sure I see, because I would like to give you one of my pirate treasure maps with all the bad jokes. 
You're not paying five or ten bucks for a piece of paper. You're paying because you enjoyed the show that much. And this is just my way of saying thank you. And I do have one more thing that's very important. I've got a few of these left in here. It's my brand new DVD. I've been producing these over the last four years. Footage of my big stage shows with illusions, pirate ships, real pirate ships on the way, blasting actual cannons, sailing around. So if you're not from here, it's a really nice souvenir of the bay. It shows you how to make magic tricks at home with ordinary objects. It's a lot of fun. And if you put in a $20 donation, bless you, that's huge. I'd like to give you the map, trading card, and one of these while supplies last. <laughs> So, sit back, relax. I'm going to try to burn myself while I eat an apple for you. So let's hope I don't burn myself. I've got another show. If you missed part of this show, I've got another show at 1.20. I get to come out here about eight different times a month, so I try to make them count. I try to entertain you the best I can. And you really were a great crowd. So thanks for watching. I had a good time. Here we go. Let's get that going nice and bright. I'm going to move the microphone so when I eat the apple I don't accidentally eat the microphone. And this really is dangerous and if I drop something, I'll try it again. It's a little breezy. If I drop the apple could, and it rolls out to you, could you pick it up and wipe it off and hand it back? If I drop the knife, could you just pull it out, wipe it off? And, and <laughs> Here we go. Keep your eye on the apple. I'm going to try to take a bite. Right. Now. Right. <laughs> well. Jack Sparrow, that's Johnny Depp. He's from Hollywood, he's rich, famous. I'm the street performer with a bucket over here. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here, 239 folks. And remember, if you put in five, make sure you hold it up so I can see it, and I'd like to thank you properly. That goes right in the bucket, you get a DVD. <laughs>